Hi guys, so today I thought it might be nice to talk to you about a sort of sub-genre of literature which is YA thrillers, a genre that I have been very much enjoying recently and have actually really enjoyed in the past. I also have noticed that one particular YA thriller has been incredibly popular and that is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I have read this book and completely see why everybody loves it so much. I think it's a really good example of the genre and I thought I would recommend to those of you that are interested in the genre some of my favourites including One of Us is Lying. Now one of the things I really like about the young adult thriller genre, especially for a bit of a thriller noob like myself, is it's definitely an ease in but it's also a genre of its own which I think is slightly separate from the adult thriller genre. I think it has a slightly more tongue-in-cheek element. I think it's good for um, fans of films and TV shows which have those thriller frightening elements um, but also are able to kind of not take themselves too seriously and have other elements of the plot. I think a lot of those kind of things are really popular on TV at the moment. There was Scream Queens, there was uh, the TV adaptation of Scream, which mixed like teenage angst and thriller and they sometimes have romance and they have friendships and there's all these other little plot elements which are quite fun um, and it means you get your thrills and your frights without it being too intense. I think it's also quite undefined still, so it allows for a lot of experimentation and sometimes there can be sort of supernatural elements in there as well and I've got a couple of those in my recommendations. But yeah, I'm just going to recommend a few books to you. So first up is One of Us is Lying, if you haven't read this one yet. It is great fun. Everyone's comparing it to things like Gossip Girl and The Breakfast Club and Pretty Little Liars and those are all fair comparisons. It centres around a group of high school students who all have detention together when one of the detainees dies. Now this is a young boy who runs a gossip website at this school so a lot of students have motives to want him dead, especially all the ones in the room with him. So basically each of these young people is under suspicion for his killing and we flip between the multiple perspective of all of the suspects. And what I think is done really well about this is the multiple perspectives. I think it can be hard to nail a multiple perspective narrative and make your reader enjoy every character's story, which I did, so I really enjoyed this. I don't think this one's terribly frightening, but I think it's very mysterious and I thought it was a, a really good plot and I really liked all of the characters so I can see why this appeals to a lot of different types of readers. But if I go back a little bit to when I was actually a teenager, I realised now looking back there was an author whose books I really enjoyed, some of which could definitely be considered young adult thrillers, and that was Catherine McPhail. The two books I want to talk to you by her are firstly Roxy's Baby. Roxy's Baby was one of my favourite books in my teen years, in my early teen years when I was getting into teen literature, moving away from children's literature, looking for stuff that didn't shy away from the more gruesome sides of life and Roxy's Baby is about a teenage girl who finds herself pregnant and doesn't want to um, have to deal with it and tell her mum and her stepdad so she runs away from home and ends up getting taken in by this couple who look after all of these other young women who are pregnant and um, you know are a little bit scared of the circumstances they're in and they're helping them to get through the pregnancy in this house together. Obviously there's something a lot darker going on than that, it is a thriller and it's really really intriguing discovering that. One of the things that's also interesting about this is it is based on a true story and I like that this book draws attention to something that actually happens and um, that was quite a unique experience for me at the age I read that book. And another book by Catherine McPhail I really enjoyed was Another Me. This is about a young girl, Faye, in secondary school who gradually starts to notice more and more that uh, her friends and her family and her school are referencing conversations and incidents involving her that she doesn't remember but they all remember very vividly. It's almost as if there's another her. So this one, I don't want to say any more than that because it is incredibly mysterious. It's quite frightening. It's, well, it was at the age that I read it um, and would probably just be very thrilling and, and um, attention grabbing now as an adult. Um, so we're constantly wondering what's going on. Is there somebody posing as Faye? Is 
Faye being stalked? Is Faye forgetting large portions of her everyday life? We don't know. You have to find out. I really like this novel. Again, like I said, these books were very transitional for me at that age and I remember them very fondly and just think they are perfect for those of you looking for this kind of genre. A popular young adult thriller that I read a couple of years ago was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Now, you've probably heard of this book. I would be surprised if you've ever heard of this genre and never heard of this book. It <laughs> follows a young girl who every summer uh, holidays with her family on their private island and something happened last summer and she's been recovering from it but she doesn't know exactly what happened, what happened to the other um, teenage members of her family, her cousins that she always spent her holidays with, none of them are all of them are refusing to talk to her and she doesn't understand what she did and finally it's come time to go back to the island and meet up with everybody and sort of rekindle that relationship and rediscover what happened and it's full of lots of shocks and you never see what's coming and it's just very interesting and mysterious. E. Lockhart does have other books as well and a very recent one called Genuine Fraud which I haven't read yet but definitely plan to. Another author who I've read multiple young adult thrillers by that I really like is Juno Dawson. She has a mixture of different kind of young adult thrillers which verge into the supernatural young adult horror genre so I will mention all three briefly starting with the one that is most closely a thriller and that is Cruel Summer. This is another one where something happened the summer before which is going to affect our characters now. This actually follows a group of um, teenagers who have finished high school. They're all one year of high school, so around 19 years old. And something happened um, on their last night of school at their grad ball with um, one of their friends who died. She committed suicide, or at least that's what everyone says happened. Some of their group are less sure about that. So it's a summer later and the friends haven't seen each other for a whole year and they're coming back together after this atrocious thing that happened the summer before to their friend to deal with that when something else terrible happens at the remote Spanish villa they are staying in. Which makes it look as though there may be a killer amongst them. I will say no more but this one's really good in that it's got a few different strands going on, a current mystery, a past mystery and a fascinating group of different characters. But as we verge slightly into the supernatural side of this genre, one book that Juno Dawson wrote that I adore which you don't know if there's like a supernatural element to it, so I won't spoil it to you, but going into it you're not sure. And that is Hollow Pike. This follows a young teenage girl who has recently moved to a new school after um, not quite getting on at her last school. And at the same time as dealing with this big move, she's also having these dark, mysterious dreams that are keeping her up all night and keeping her sleepless and, you know, sort of ruining her life. Um, well, she tries to fit in with one of two groups, either the kind of popular group or the sort of outsiders and finding her place when something at her new school happens and she has to figure out whether it's tied to her dreams, what's really going on, who's behind it and her and her new friends have to deal with that together. There is suggestions of witchcraft in this book, although like I mentioned I'm not going to say whether it is supernatural or not, but I think this one is a really nice mixture of that kind of um, witchcrafty high school thriller horror teen angst genre. I, I don't know, there's a little bit of romance. I really liked it, I think it was a really great combination of everything. The next book by Juno Dawson I want to briefly mention is definitely more on the supernatural horror side but I thought I'd briefly mention it because I think it'll appeal to you if you like the rest of these books and that is Say Her Name. This book is inspired by the Bloody Mary story which you probably heard of if you say Bloody Mary into a mirror so many times she comes and gets you and it's about a, another teenage girl at high school trying to fit in with her friends um, when they decide to do this in a mirror and strange things start happening. But one last young adult thriller I'm going to mention in this video is one that I read very recently and it's another one that lots of people have been talking about. It's because it's Stephanie Perkins' new book and it's her first foray into the thriller genre. I've never read any of her romance books um, but I thought I'd give this one a shot because I enjoy the young adult thriller genre. And this one's nice if you don't want something that is too thriller heavy. 
It is very thriller in that there is a mad sort of knife wielding maniac on the loose killing students at our main character's high school but at the same time there is a sort of counterbalance of about 50% to do with friends and particularly romance and a new romance for our main character who has recently moved to this new school after again something that happened at her old school. So if you want a thriller but you also want another central plot which is a sort of teen romance relationship story then this is really nice I think that's got that in Swedes. It's definitely a creepy thriller in that it's very much part of the slasher genre um, and you are constantly feeling a little bit squeamish and uh, on edge which is nice because you don't always get that with these kind of mystery books um, you're not always scared for the characters lives but in this one you are which I think is nice it keeps you on your toes um, but at the same time it's not always a mystery if that makes sense so this one again a bit of a mixture unique in its own way and um, probably perfect for some of you I just thought I would talk about all of the young adult thrillers I read and enjoyed though um, with their different elements and um, for different people some of them um, so hopefully there's something in here that interests you if it's a genre you're interested in I would love to hear what young adult thrillers you've enjoyed and would recommend to me one of the ones I'm hearing a lot about is Dangerous Girls so it's probably the next one I'll look into unless you can convince me of another one um, but I would definitely love to hear about them um, I just think this, this genre is a very fast paced, fun, engaging genre and I'd love to read more of it but until next time guys, happy reading and I'll see you all again soon, bye!